already live yesterday, I just realized that when I push the button, I'm already live. Although it seems like it's loading here, so by the way, this is the topic of today. This video is for the How to be Awesome group, right? So yesterday it was Brand Your Awesomeness. I'm just mentioning this, if I wasn't clear enough before, for the people who maybe are waiting for the next day of the challenge on Brand Your Awesomeness, that was yesterday and it will be tomorrow. Today is on the video on how to be awesome. And today in the US is Labor Day, so I said I'd celebrate it with, with some music. So that's why we have music on and for you not to get bored while I actually share this in my group and on my profile. One video of you were hey, say hi, don't be shy. Tomar was there, I kind of there. You're not? Oh my god, is that someone, someone else? Say hi. I hope you like this song, it's super awesome. Just give me a sec. How do I share this? Okay, we are actually listening to music. I am live. If you're wondering, I am still live. I don't know, why don't you check? Can you hear the music guys? If any of you is there, like to say yeah, it's awesome. It's just kind of the perfect music for something like this, like just the background noise kind of thing. Um Getting on my timeline. If you like the music, actually love the video. <laughs> and I'm not taking credit for any music or something, whatever. Seriously, you cannot hear the music at all? Can you hear it now? Oh my god, this is so sad. You can't hear it at all? Hmm? Are you he hearing me at least? On the video? Oh, you're hearing me, but you cannot hear the music. I don't get it why. Actually, this is why I didn't use the headphones, so can listen to the music. This is so sad, so I'm dancing by myself here like a crazy person. I have to share it. I'm so sorry. Huh? Just leave me alone. So Omar is just saying to delete the video by the way because it's crappy if that's what he's saying. So, <laughs> yeah, I could just do that, or I can not listen to him because, I don't know, it's not like I want to bore you, but I just don't want to delete it, like, I'm not trying to make a video that's gonna win anything, I'm just doing it, because I feel like doing it, and I feel, I don't know, like, this is actually what we're gonna talk about, just saying, about feeling the moment, not thinking the moment. I'm so sorry, honestly, that you cannot hear the music. I thought this was a, a genius idea, honestly. Okay, so, as I said, today's topic on how to be awesome, surrender. To what? To the moment. Like, probably I've been saying this before in the video on how, on how to be awesome being happy, like just being happy, right? It's kind of the same thing, like just, I don't know, have you, have you been like even 
that's what I don't like sometimes when I work and I'm super passionate about my work right and I am in it and I'm super focused but when you are like that are you actually in the moment like I don't know are you super are you in the moment in your work kind of thing or are you not enjoying anything because you're just focused on that work I don't know if this makes sense but when I interrupt myself from that being working constantly and being super focused on that I realized that oh my god I haven't eaten for so long and like time passed by without me acknowledging it do you think not acknowledging not sensing the time passing by you is a good thing is that living in the moment or or not and I do want to hear your opinion about this what do you think and another question so I, I've been taking I, I talked about this before I've been taking this course uh, effortless manifestation from Chris Pink I have to actually get to the, to the next week and just by having a few of of the lessons on the course for the first week of the course because it's like a four week course I think um, he keeps talking about being in the moment and being happy and just allowing life to happen and to guide you right and that's when you are the most powerful and that's when you actually manifest awesome shit and I've been living this and I just want to share with you my enthusiasm when you realize that you are so freaking powerful. I'm just going to give you some examples. They may seem shitty. They may seem a cliche like, you know, like manifesting a, a green light, right? When going to work or being in a hurry or going somewhere. But how awesome is it when you actually need it? Like going into the bus station and you're the exact bus that you are waiting for is coming right so by the way I said a few weeks ago that I don't want to cook anymore for example and I had to cook today and I didn't think about the fact that I said I don't want to cook anymore and that I actually don't want to cook I just did it without thinking about it at all and I was actually enjoying it I started my playlist which I actually missed listening to. I started my playlist, started dancing in the kitchen and doing my thing and just being there, not thinking that I can do something else right now or that I don't want to do it or whatever, like just doing it plain and simple. And I was doing french fries, for, uh, by the way, which my french fries are always shitty. Like, how hard can it be to cook that? You don't need skills or something, right? But apparently you do because I never know how to make them. They are so shitty all the time. Until today. When I just manifested some super awesome french fries. Is it manifestation or is it cooking skill or what is it? Is it just the manifestation of making something awesome no matter what you do. Just because your state of being right now is being happy and being in the moment and enjoying whatever activity you do you have whatever right I actually want to also mention what was, were the other examples like just thinking I was at home I was just thinking I want something sweet like I was so crazy for something sweet something good and guess what my dad came home and he brought some some biscuits some chocolate bis biscuits that I love super much and then half an hour later or something like that my mom came with a pack of Snickers and I didn't ask for them and they don't usually just come home and bring sweets so it's not something normal that happens and just by thinking about it and there are oh my god there are so many examples that happened those days and they are so kind of crappy examples like it's so not important kind of thing right but to me it is and usually those 
small things matter so much in that precise moment. Tell me if you ever experienced something like this. I'm sure you have. And tell me what you manifested. I really do want to know. There are three people watching. So say hi, please. Actually, I don't want to like please you. Like just say hey, you are awesome, guys. Come on. Um. And do. Please do share what you manifested and if if you agree with me actually and please feel free to disagree like I'm always up for for a challenge and I think we're getting to the end of the video because I don't want to make it too long and I want to, to do my What's it called? What's the word? Not routine. My practice. My gratitude practice, right? Okay, so today I'm grateful for my super awesome french fries, which actually I did a shawarma with them. If you don't know what a shawarma is, you're missing out on something super great and tasty. Um, so I'm super grateful for that. I'm grateful for doing an awesome illustration and getting this awesome idea today to actually put my caricatures on sale on different cups on my Redbubble account, the website. That's a super awesome idea. Um, and I'm so grateful for being more in the flow, like I actually feel that uh, I'm more present in everything that I do and I actually want to say this I, d I don't like having a schedule like I never liked that I'm not that kind of person I actually tried it and I enjoyed making the actual schedule but I never stick to it and I kind of have a to-do list and I don't have a time when I have to do those things but I just have to do them that's it so I put them on a list and I check them if I do them, and if not, I put them on the next day, right? To do the next day. And this seemed like a super awesome system for me. And why do you do a, ch a kind of a to-do list with checking them off? Like, it feels so damn good when you see you check them off, and it's like, oh my god, I did so many things, right? But how do you feel when you don't check them off, and you have more unchecked than checked? Don't you feel like crap? Because I do sometimes, honestly. And I just realized that I don't want to do that anymore. And I was constantly kind of stressing myself that I have such a huge list. And again, I wasn't like supposed to do all of them. I wasn't expecting necessarily to do all of them in that day. But subconsciously, I wanted to do that. And I was kind of stressing myself because of that. I was... Constantly kind of trying to, if I finish something, instead of just taking a break and celebrating it, right, and being grateful for what I just achieved, I was getting on the next thing, and to the next thing, and to the next thing, and it was so kind of a rush, and then at the end of the day, okay, luckily that I have a dog and I have to walk him, and I'm not doing anything at that time, and then just going to bed and to wake up the next day to go again, again, doing this and this and that, right, and I don't like that. So all of a sudden I realize that I want to just do whatever I feel like doing because I know what I have to do, kind of my to-do list, like the big one kind of thing, right? A big to-do list. I know the things that I, my projects and everything, right? I have them in my head and it's just a matter of what do I feel like doing right now, like asking myself and being trying not to think of what of what I should do but trying more to feel what am I in alignment to do right now because if you choose to do what you actually want the most that that you are the activity that you're more, most passionate about that is gonna you're gonna be much more productive 
and you will enjoy the process more like it's kind of obvious right and so that's what I'm doing for the past two days I don't have a to-do list I'm being a total rebel and I want to see how much this will last and this actually helps me to surrender to the moment and to be more present and it's always a super successful day for me when I realized at the end of the day that I was super in the moment and I actually feel that happiness like I don't have to kind of control my emotions because being in the flow is just being awesome by it's a natural state kind of thing okay hope that makes sense um, okay that's kind of it because it's a super long video all of a sudden okay guys share if you like anything that I'm saying love it if you love what I'm saying still love it give me all any kind of reaction I like all of them even the best one this often um, if you're not yet in the how to be awesome group go there because it's a group community of people who keep each other accountable on being awesome each and every day why because it would be a period to be anything less than awesome right and that's kind of it guys so leave in the comments please what are you manifesting like give me example uh, uh, examples of what Jesus give me examples of what you manifested and what are you grateful for one or the other or both okay guys that's it don't forget the days it's great to be asked so do that bye